Hi, today we're going to look at Selected Studies number 13. Um, the term at the top of the page, Allegro Grotesco, tells us it should be played quickly and grotesque, though I wouldn't take grotesque too seriously. The first thing I would do to practice this etude and also prepare your chromatic scale is simply to do um, 16th note patterns starting on each one of the notes of the chromatic scale, something like so on and so forth. If you get rapid at that, it'll show a lot of control of your 16th notes. Um, on measure nine, uh, that is the first place where it's not a chromatic scale, so you want to mark that. That's the second, second line down, last measure. All right, measure 28 uh, is right before those two fermatas. One of the things you might want to do is to um, retardando into those fermatas to make uh, a bigger ending, a more musical ending, which would have been consistent with the style at the time. So you do something like... So on and so forth. Um, note the articulation changes. Sometimes you have patterns of four and sometimes you have patterns of two groupings. So be really careful with that. Um, measures 19 through 22, you have a grouping of four. And then the next time you see this measure 11, 12, 11, 15, you have groupings that are different. So first of all, you have this crazy pattern that's <laughs> so on and so forth. The first time you have it is in the third line down. The next time, the next measure, or the, you have that pattern, which is one, two, three, four, fifth line down. It's a uh, four slurred instead of just two. Okay. The tempo you choose cannot be faster than you play those measures. Those are the tricky measures. All right, so if one of the most important things you can do is practice with a metronome. I slow it down and I've got the magic metronome on my phone. And I slow it down and, and do it at half tempo. So let's say I've got it at 112. I would practice at the eighth note equals 112. Okay, and then I would, once I do everything perfectly, I would move it up from there. So that you've really gone through the fine tooth comb and cleaned up all the little, little finger errors without, you know, glossing over them. Um, measure 24, you've got some finger issues. Um, you can use uh, a three for third valve for one and two if you need to you know, get that moving. So when you're going back and forth, da 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 da, da you can easily just use the third valve. It's a little flat, but it works. Um, the one, two, three measures just before the fermata. You can kick out the third valve for those low notes that are going to be out of tune, the one and two and one and three, and just leave it out. And that solves that problem. All right, so place your breathing where you're going to breathe and mark those. And so go through clean articulation, crescendo, decrescendos, make it very musical, and there you go, you'll have a good etude.